Ah uh, yeah, holidays. Time to play some Spider-Man. Ten out of ten. Mm. What's up, everybody? Black River Fox here, and it's Christmas. Ho, ho, ho! And what better way to enjoy the holidays with a nice Christmas-themed game? Yeah, that's right. I'm playing Spider-Man Miles Morales. I was a huge fan of Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4, and I got crazy excited when they announced this follow-up. When I found out that this would be more of a standalone expansion instead of a straight-up sequel, I was a bit apprehensive. But after playing this game, I gotta say its length is actually the best part for me. Let me explain why. It feels like in recent years, a game's value has been based on playable hours, and that has led to devs adding an incredible amount of padding with menial chores and repetitive side quests. Ubisoft in particular has been very guilty of this, with its more recent Assassin's Creed titles. And this is why Miles Morales was so refreshing to me. Nothing in this game ever outstayed its welcome. From the handful of well-crafted side quests, world crimes and hideout takedowns, it doesn't have you searching the city for 50 backpacks or chasing a million sky rats. This allowed me to naturally complete most of the side activities while working through the main quest. And I gotta say, while the story is nothing special, it certainly is refreshing to play a more heartwarming tale about family and friendship. And man, Miles himself has been having quite the streak. Between this game and the absolutely incredible Into the Spider-Verse, he's really carved out his own space in the superhero world. I love how this game introduced me to a culture that I haven't explored yet in a game. While it's not as deep as it could have been, it's still nice to see Hispanic influence seeping through Harlem. And you know I can't not talk about the swinging. Oh my gosh. Swinging is even better this time around if you're playing on the PlayStation 5. With the performance mode switched on, it's smooth as balls, and the snow-covered city streets look amazing. And the character models in particular is a massive step up. I felt like that was one aspect of Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4 that wasn't quite there, but thankfully that's a thing of the past, opinions about the new Peter Parker model aside. Hair and fabric textures look amazing. I found myself constantly popping in and out of photo mode to appreciate everything this game had to show me. So yeah, I guess you could say out of all the massive bloated games I've played this year, I'd probably say that Miles Morales was the most fun I've had with the game. Especially considering the weird ass year we just had, it's really refreshing to play a game that has a little bit of optimism and positivity thrown in. So yeah, all I can say is, don't sleep on it. You just fell asleep again, didn't you?